I am going to weigh Morgan this morning. Get my treats. I'm a big advocate for giving the bird the choice to say no. So if you ask the bird to step up and through its body language, it does not want to, I respect that and I usually walk away getting rid of the opportunity for the bird to earn that reward. And so I don't wait around for the bird to decide, yeah, now I wanna step up after three minutes of waiting because that teaches the bird that it can step up whenever it wants versus when it's given the opportunity. So I often reset the behavior by going and for instance, in this video, I go, I give breakfast in her cage then I ask again she says no within a couple seconds so I reset again I go I clean her cage and I'll come back and ask again and I just continue to do that and a lot of people are like ah oh, what if my bird decides it never wants to come and that's just a feeling <laughs> that's not really reality the bird eventually is going to want to come you just have to find a way to manipulate it so that it feels like it made that decision and you didn't force it upon it. Because the more times that you make the bird um, come to you by peeling its feet off a perch or something like that, the more often it's gonna say no. Whereas when you give it the choice, the more often it will say yes. So I went and got the target stick. Luckily I had done the touch training the day before and she was way more responsive to the target stick than to just basically stepping up. It became a totally new behavior. And instead of asking her to step up, I was now giving her a way to reach the target stick with my help. So I was just literally a vessel. Can you get down by yourself? Would you like help? I can help you. I don't want your beak first, I want your foot first. How about you go down there and touch that stick? Would you like help? Would you like help? Good girl. Good. There we go. Thank goodness for touch training. Um, I ended up doing an entire touch training session around her enclosure. So I felt like this is a really good and positive interaction to have with her. It teaches her that she doesn't have to go straight back into her enclosure and it gives her the choice to go where she wants to go because it's asking something different and then it made her way more receptive to go back into her cage. treats in her toy there. And I'm gonna do my normal thing of doing my thing in the kitchen and wait for her to fly to me. Let's see how this is gonna change things. Good. Did you see her through the window? I did, yeah. I don't know if you scared her or if she just decided to come to me because she saw you. Hey, it's more than that little boat of confidence. <laughs> So I found when Patty enters our training sessions that Morgan becomes a lot more high strung and it's when I'm more likely to get bit by her. Um, she's also a lot less responsive to me. So when Patty isn't there, I feel like we have repetition after repetition, but when Patty is there, there's a lot more hesitancy, which you're gonna see in this video. So in the black sweatshirt is Patty. You can tell she's in the kitchen doing her thing. And Morgan is just not so sure about coming to me because of this new situation and Patty being there. Um, there's a big lack of trust with Patty involved. So it changes up my session. I try to do them when she's not there, but inevitably we live together. So she walks in on our sessions a lot. So we just work through it. I don't want people to have unrealistic expectations of their bird, but um, I did want to show you guys each and every step that it took to Good get to my breakthrough. Girl. So I promise the breakthrough is coming. It's Good not girl. here yet, um, but it did happen on this day, which was job, incredibly girl. exciting for me. Yeah. So as you can see, Morgan is flying to me. She's a little bit more angsty. She wants more quality time as a secondary reward then I prefer, I really want her to just go off of praise and food because quality time makes repetitions last a lot longer. Um, 
So, but as you can see, I'm spending time with her as well, rewarding her for stepping up nicely, rewarding her for stepping down nicely. All of these things are tricks, not just the flight. Um, and that's something that you really have to remember. If you want your bird to step off nicely, step on nicely, those are all tricks. So reward for those good behaviors. What I'm attempting to do with the training is turn as quick as possible so that almost on her takeoff, I have turned around. So that almost we can pair the fact that she is taking off for flight with me facing her. And I just haven't been able to turn quick enough to make that association for her. Um, but I do keep trying to encourage and entice her to come to me while I'm facing her, even though I can tell from her body language she decides that she's not going to come to me as soon as I face her. And the second I turn away, she's like, there's my opportunity. And she goes. So luckily, I've been able to catch her on my hand every time and keep her off my shoulder. No. Literally, I tried and I asked her. And then I turned my back and she went. <laughs> so no, not yet. We're getting there. So Morgan's body language tells me everything about so. what I need to adjust with my own actions. I can tell that she's interested in flying to me here, but that she's not going to because I'm facing her. So I'm waiting and waiting because I know she wants to fly and she's just waiting for me to turn my back. But I'm hoping to um, basically entice her enough to fly to me while I'm facing her. And she shows me that she wants to, but she's just waiting for that opportunity for me to turn. I'm trying to you entice her with rewards, jackpot with jackpot rewards, rewards, with praise and encouragement. None of which is working. And here I'm like, ah, I know what I have to do. There she goes. And I just try to turn back around as soon as possible so that she, she associates looking at the front of me yeah, and flying. It's okay. She's just learning to fly, so it's all right. Good girl. At this Come point, on. I decide to implement the clicker as a means awesome. to do it, do it, do it, really it. encourage her that, hey, this is a training session, like the target training, because she's so enthusiastic about the targeting. Good girl. Good. Did you hear that click? It was a little bit late. Another trick I figured out was shaking the little treat dish that I have to really encourage her because she would look forward to getting those treats. Come so that really it. helped encourage her. Another thing I started catching on to was that she likes to turn the other way, face the other direction before she takes flight because of her foot. One of the reasons that I don't want quality time to be one of the first or secondary reinforcers for Morgan is because oftentimes when she starts spending a lot of time with me, it leads to the hormonal behavior, which then would have to immediately end the session because the only way to get rid of that hormonal trigger is to get rid of myself. So it means that we have to stop hanging out. So that's the reason that I've kind of been avoiding the quality time and I want the praise, the encouragement, and the treats to be the main reinforcement. I want you to. Do it. Come on. Come. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, I was facing her. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Jackpot. That was it. I was facing her that time. That was our breakthrough. Oh, yeah. So obviously I was incredibly excited that she finally flew to me facing her. That has been a breakthrough moment I have been waiting for just because it's gonna make the whole flight training process way easier. And obviously I want her flying to me and not my back. So this is awesome. And she immediately went to do it again and again and again. So I was stoked it wasn't a one-time fluky thing. It kept happening and nobody interrupted our session either. So our momentum did not get <laughs> messed up with. So you can see she's going, she's flying to me. I'm excited, she's excited, she's getting it. Um, it was just awesome. It was a really great feeling and you guys saw everything leading up to it. So I didn't miss a beat. She's going off way easier too now that she understands that is a trick. I want to point out the timing of my clicking. So I am clicking as soon as she takes off in flight. And the reason I'm doing that is because that's the exact behavior I want. I want her to fly. I want her to take off and fly to me. So I click when she takes off, not when she lands because of that. I want a really good, quick response time.
flying to me while I'm facing her. Yeah. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> And she's going down a lot easier too. I decided to implement the clicker. And she gets all a trick. So I wow. just, just open and keep those down by herself instead of me having to like lean her at all. Uh -huh. She's putting herself down. She's like, oh, this is a trick too. I get a treat. Nice. That's a big step forward. Yeah. I'm surprised how many flights she's doing just because like, I'm like aren't you tired? <laughs> Look at, look at the way she's standing. Okay, did you see that? She She's turning. Is she's turning to have her, her good foot on this side. She must be pulling off the counter that way. But remember you saying that she was going sideways? Yeah. She just did it, only to a lesser degree. So here, Morgan's body language totally changes on me. She's really oh, freaked out about towel. Patty because Patty has a towel. And for a long time, Patty used to towel her to give her medication. So she started to get really angsty. She started trying to want to go up onto my shoulder. Um, she got really high strung and nervous. So that is what's happening during this whole ordeal. And I'm trying to figure out what changed. So basically, Morgan just quit on me. She became really untrusting of the environment, and um, she didn't want to do it anymore. So I should have avoided the situation, but neither of us really saw it coming. Patty was literally just drawing her hands with a towel. She wasn't meaning anyth anything by it, but that's not how Morgan interpreted it. So it literally ended the session for me, which is a bummer because if you know me as a trainer, I like yeah, to end on a positive note. And this ended on a very um, uncomfortable note. She showed absolutely no signs of wanting to fly anymore Go in that particular bit. situation. I'm so if we do like bummer, but awesome breakthrough Jackpot in the same day. <laughs> because otherwise we'll never make dinner. All right, so yesterday she kind of sucked at this. We're gonna see how she does today. I just wanted to show this clip of the very next day doing the exact same behavior that this whole video started with. I struggled so badly the day before and because I gave her those options and we worked through it on her terms, I got an immediate response the very next day. So just proof. <laughs> that was way better. Um, yesterday took forever, you guys saw. Today, here you go buddy. That was awesome. Progress. So let me track her weight before I forget it.